Welcome back to OneStopTutorials.com. My name's Ali Barbar, and here we are again. We're coming to the bottom of the list, and we're finally down to the color picker. Okay, and I'm going to show you how this all works. <coughs> now, here you have two palettes. You have the the foreground, and you have the background. To change the color in the foreground, simply click on it, change the color, and press OK, and that changes the foreground. And to change the background, simply do the same. Click on the background, change the color and that will change it the color of the background now this little handle here this little handle allows you to flip from foreground to background so at the, mo at the moment uh, pink is the foreground we click that and we make pink the background so if we were coming in with our brush and just painting away we could click this button here and to uh, bring in the background okay to make it the foreground the shortcut for flipping these in between is X on your keyboard so if I come in close and by the way this is my daughter Lily okay if I come in close and I just start painting with the brush okay I can flip by clicking X on my keyboard I can flip the green from background to foreground and I can come in and switch in between okay very handy uh, let me just change that up a bit and the next one is here we have this little um, icon here that allows us to click back to black and white we just simply click on it and um, what you can do with that is uh, let me quickly just any color set my foreground and that's fine and if I wanted to access that with the shortcut D on the keyboard brings it back to default so black and white is default so you just hit D on the keyboard okay so let's show you some more options if we click on the foreground or background okay we have a few more options come up we have the hue saturation and the brightness so we can flip in between those okay in fact what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly change these colors up so you can get a better look at it okay so this is the hue okay so we're changing the hue okay you can flip to the saturation where you got another style where you can if you like working like this you can select green and move it down to a more of a saturated green okay that's what that's what saturation does it takes away the color so as you see if we got to the bottom it would bring it into gray and black and then the brightness is obviously the further the further you go down the further it becomes white because it becomes more bright so that's the hue saturation and brightness okay and then you've got RGB red green blue okay again you can move around and choose how you wish to look and how you wish to choose colors okay it all depends up to you I generally use the hue now this little button here this means only for web so what this does is it keeps you in the correct color for when doing web stuff so you can as you can see you can click on the green and it offers you a uh, offers you the option of the code which you could then add to the coding of your HTML so you can bring call upon this color okay that's quite handy to use now this little icon up here means that if you were to uh, this is telling you wait a minute that this is this is telling it's giving you a little warning saying if you use this color you know you might not be able to use it on everything maybe you should readjust the color okay and this little box is this is not safe for color of, for the web okay so you click that and it'll it tells you here that so if you use this it's basically you have no warnings and it's safe to use on the web if this was unchecked you have a warning here okay saying that maybe it's not safe for the web and what you've also got here is you've got a color libraries so you can go through all your settings here choose any one you wish to use and you can have more access to the true color that you're actually looking for okay and when you like it you simply press OK and then you'll see it selected in your foreground now if you need to get back to the picker just simply click on picker and it brings you back to the picker tab and if you like this color and you think you're going to use it in a lot more projects just simply hit add to swatches name it okay and then when you go to your swatch tab you'll see that that color is there and it will be saved there for future projects okay so very handy it's not a complex tool you just play around with the settings um, just play around with this the hue the saturation the brightness the RGB remember if you're going to be doing web design then try to keep it to this one here only web colors just to make sure we get the true color that you're looking for 
okay and then you have got some more settings down here lab depending on how you like to view it and how you like to play around with the color picker okay so that's the color picker very simple tool very easy to use play around with it and I shall catch you soon so please subscribe to my YouTube or leave your comments below and we shall catch you at the next video tutorial take it easy guys and girls